Okay, so in this video, we will uh, discuss on the next economically important crops, next category that is fibers. <clears throat> so the first important fiber crop that we are going to discuss is cotton. Now the botanical name of cotton, as you can see, it is gossypium species because there are many other species so its uh, scientific name is gossypium and it belongs to the family malvesi in india it is known by these different names such as kapas and rui in hindi gujarati marathi and bengali paruthi in tamil nadu and malayalam and patti in telugu so these are some of the uh, vernacular names of this particular plant in india this is uh, the picture showing the cotton plant okay the leaf this is how the leaf looks like the flower and this is referred to as the cotton ball you can see when the cotton ball are ready for harvest you can see these uh, white cotton balls coming out from this uh, one cotton ball okay you can see there are five of these uh, balls and inside these white threads white cotton threads there are cotton seeds okay so this is just to show the diagram uh, the picture of this uh, cotton plant okay before coming to the important uses of this crop we will talk a little bit about the origin and cultivation of this uh, cotton plant. <clears throat> cotton, it is, uh, it is the most important and it is the one of the oldest fiber in the world. And this cotton plant, this cotton fiber, it finds reference in ancient Greek as well as in Roman literature, and. Also, the existence of cotton threads is even mentioned in the Rig Veda, that is the oldest Indian scripture, which is written around 1500 BC. And uh, talking about the distribution and the origin of this crop plant, this crop plant is, was introduced from India eastward to China and westward to Egypt around 600 AD but at that time it went on the cultivation in these countries as a textile fiber around 1300 to 1400 AD and Arab traders they introduced cotton to the African continent and now this particular crop land it is cultivated in almost all parts of the world <clears throat> these are the some of the areas of cultivation of cotton plant as you can see nearly 85 percent of the world's total production of cotton it comes from these countries all right russia usa china india pakistan brazil turkey egypt mexico and sudan and presently in India, it is uh, one of the second, it is considered as the second largest producer of cotton in the world. And these are the states in India where cotton is cultivated. Okay, These states mentioned here, they are the different states where cotton is grown. And this particular species, Hirsutum, Gossypium hirsutum, it is the most commonly grown species in India, followed by these two species, that is arboreum and herbaceum. And also there is another species that is barbadens. This gossypium barbadens is also grown in India, but only to a small extent. Okay, the coming to the uses of this uh, crop plant. Cotton fiber, it is extensively used in the uh, manufacturing of cloth, then uh, tire fabrics and also as you can see various forms of threads, then corridors, twines, etc. 
and this type of cotton which is referred to as the mercerized cotton okay mercerized cotton this one you can see this one is prepared by treating the cotton fibers with caustic soda and after treating the cotton fibers with caustic soda it will impart a high luster and silky appearance to the fiber so this type of cotton is referred to as mercerized cotton okay that means the textile finishing treatment for this uh, cotton fabric mainly which will improve the dye uptake and also the tear strength and also it will reduce the fabric's shrinkage and uh, it will impart a silk like luster to the fabric Okay, made of, of this mercerized cotton and uh, this type of cotton that is absorbent cotton why it is referred to as absorbent cotton because it is uh, it can absorb water this type of cotton is obtained by thoroughly cleaning the oily covering of the cotton fibers Okay, so thus after removing the oily covering it consists of almost pure cellulose and thus it will form uh, it can form uh, the raw materials the basic raw materials for plastics rayons okay uh, rayons that is the synthetic fiber and also it is suitable for uh, in explosive industry whereas this water repellent cotton or also known as the non-absorbent cotton this is usually prepared by treating the cotton fibers with other substances such as sodium ammonium uh, stearate and also aluminium acetate this type of cotton it finds uh, extensive application in uh, <coughs> in awning tents right awning tents as you can see for example this one in this figure they are do these uh, roof like cover okay extending over in front of uh, windows or doors okay just like uh, as a shelter these are referred to as the awning tents so these awning tents they are made up of from these uh, non-absorbent cotton that is water repellent cotton and also other protective covering not only in these awnings but all other protective coverings and uh, this cotton it is also mainly used extensively used for stuffing okay in uh, you have seen in soft toys or in pillows so it is extensively used for stuffing now coming to the seeds <clears throat> cotton seeds also they are very they are very useful they are uh, rich in proteins and also vitamins of the b complex and they are usually used as cattle feed and uh, also used as <clears throat> demulsion okay these uh, demulsion they are the uh medicine or drugs which helps in relieving the inflammation or for uh, irritation of the mucous membrane in the mouth all right and laxatives you know laxatives they uh, usually helps the person emptying their bowels so <clears throat> the cotton seeds they are very uh, useful as cattle feed and also as demulsion, laxative, then galactagoge. Galactagoge are those uh, food or drugs that promotes or increases the the flow of a mother's milk, and also they are used as expectorant. Expectorant also are medicines which will promote the secretion of sputum, all right, by the air passages, 
and these type of medicines are usually used for treating cups cough and the decoction of seeds all right the decoction that is the uh, concentrated uh, liquid resulting from heating or boiling a uh, cotton seeds sorry from boiling the cotton seeds that is a medical preparation all right is referred to as a decoction so this decoction is prepared from the seeds this is a uh, very useful for treating dysentery and also for intermittent fevers all right for dysentery or intermittent fe fevers intermittent uh, fevers are those uh, fevers which occur at intervals okay intervals where temperature is elevated for several hours followed by intervals when temperature it will drop back to normal so those type those are referred to as intermittent fevers and also as you can see so this is the preparation the medical preparation from the seeds known as the decoction now coming to the uh, oil this oil also can be extracted from the seeds so the cotton seed oil they it is an edible vegetable oil okay it can be used for cooking it is an edible vegetable oil and uh, but low grades of this oil of this oil they are used in the uh, manufacture of soaps then lubricants sulfonated oils and also in the uh, protective coatings okay for coating <coughs> and this oil it is it can also be used as a substitute in uh, a substitute for olive oil in pharmaceutical industry the oil cake it is an excellent fertilizer okay it is an excellent fertilizer it can be used as a fertilizer and also as a stock feed so the oil cake is the remaining uh, part of when after extracting the oil from the seeds okay that remaining uh, part is known as the oil cake right after you extract the seed the oil from the seeds so this can be used as a fertilizer or as a stock feed now coming to the second plant that is jute so the botanical name of jute is corcoros species belonging to the family tiliaceae and it has a vernacular name such as narcha okay narcha in hindi and bengali as you can see here in this figure these are the jute plants they are very tall plants these are the leaves the flowers and these are the jute fibers okay as you can see uh, later on after uh, extracting the fibers the fibers look like this brown in color these are the jute fibers and coming to the origin and distribution jute was used in india since very ancient times but it became important as a sack cloth in the late 16th century and the first shipment of jute fiber from india to england it was made in the year 1791 and there are about 40 species of these corcoras uh, which are distributed throughout the tropics of the world and eight species of these from these 40 eight species they occur in india but only two species they are of commercially import commercial importance and this particular species that is corcoras capsularis it is considered to have its origin in the indo-burma region whereas the this species olitorius it has its primary center of origin in africa with a secondary center in india and indo burma so this is the origin of and also the distribution of this crop plant and jute is the most important bast fiber and among the natural fibers it is only second to cotton and the fiber is obtained from the stems of two species of corcoras these two species okay the capsularis and olitorius so the fiber that 
you see okay it is obtained from the stem of these two species these are the commonly uh, two of the species which are of commercial importance and coming to the area of cultivation the major jute producing countries they are india bangladesh china burma nepal brazil taiwan and thailand these are the major producing countries of jute and in india the major jute growing states they are west bengal assam bihar and orissa and uh, it is also cultivated in uttar pradesh tripura and meghalaya but on a small scale now coming to the important uses of jute fibers jute fibers it is an important bagging material okay it is a very important bagging material and it is extensively used in for a uh, gunny bags and also for coarse cloth okay these are uh, <coughs> cloth which has the uh, rough texture coarse cloth then gunny bags and also a uh, twines then ropes etc and it also find wide application in the manufacture of curtains then uh, carpets blankets okay uh, linoleums then oil cloths linoleums they uh, use for floor covering and the oil cloth and the jute buds okay these short fibers of jute known as jute buds they are used in paper making and also the cuttings of the sticks you can see the jute sticks here these jute cuttings and sticks which are of the core portion of jute plant left after the extraction of the jute fiber okay by retting in water there is a process known as retting okay inside the water to obtain the jute fiber so these left over uh, jute sticks and jute cuttings they are also very useful as they are a good source of ce cellulose so that is why they can they are very uh, they can be utilized as pulping raw materials okay you know that pulping they are a uh, crush into a soft wet shapeless mass okay pulping for raw materials for writing and also for printing papers as well as specialty papers you can see this is the pulp okay specialty papers for various uses and they can also you use in making the rayon grate pulp all right they are also useful in making the rayon grate pulp rayon grate pulp they are highly purified form of cellulose used in wide variety of consumer applications and a uh, jute production sorry the jute sticks these jute sticks they can also be used as a source for sugar production all right so they are also used as a source for sugar production and also they are these uh, sticks they can be used as fuels they they are burned as fuels and also it has a very uh, good scope for utilization in various types of good strength particle boards all right these are known as the particle boards these particle boards they are uh, those uh, chip boards all right they are also known as chip boards and these boards they are nothing but they are engineered wood products okay from which are prepared from these jute fibers jute stick fibers uh, manufactured from the jute chips jute stick and also mixed with a synthetic resin or or, or any other suitable binder uh, which is pressed and extruded so these are the these are the particle boards and also used in comp 
composite material. Such boards, they are uh, very suitable for furnitures, then false ceilings, partition walls. Okay, so they are very useful in that and the jute cloth impregnated with the with the compound such as polyethylene it can be used to produce these type of sheets okay corrugated sheets and these sheets to produce these uh, they are used to produce the, these plain and corrugated sheets all right corrugated meaning they they are shaped into a series of parallel ridges and groups let me show you here this type all right when it's like this it is known as corrugated so these jute fibers they are also used to prepare the corrugated sheets and also the infusion of the leaves the infusion of the leaves it is tonic and also febrifuge febrifuge they are those medicines which are used to reduce uh, fever and not only a febrifuge but this um, infusion of the leaves it is also used as a demulsion in cystitis okay cystitis it is an inflammation of the bladder usually caused by the uh, the infection okay usually caused by infection in the bladder and also in dysuria dysuria it is uh, that burning sensation when you uh, when you urinate okay that burning sensation is referred to as a dysuria so that can be treated using the uh, infusion of the leaves of jute plant so these are uh, some of the important uses of jute fiber and as you can see it also has a medicinal use even the cotton fiber it has uh, an important medicinal use now coming to the third type of fiber that is choir now choir it is obtained from a plant coconut plant all right it is obtained from coconut plant so as you can see here in this figure the coconut plant most of you you know how it looks the coconut plant this is the fruit inside you can see a milky white inside with water and you can see this is known as the choir all right the thread like structures covering the the shell the outside of the shell that is the choir now the botanical name of coconut plant is coccus nucifera it belongs to the family aricaceae and in hindi it is known by the name nariel in marathi it is narel in bengali narikel in tamil nadu tenaimaram in telugu narikelamu and in malayalam thena so these are some of the vernacular names by which it is known in india coming to its origin and distribution a coconut plant it is this coconut palm it is one of the nature's greatest gift to mankind and practically all parts of the plant all right from the stem to the leaves to the fruits all right and even these covering of the fruits that is the choir all parts of the plants they are useful in one way or the other and in the coastal parts of india the this species coccus nucifera it is the best known tree but there are there is uh, some controversy regarding its native home okay some consider it indigenous to south or central america from where it was carried to the pacific by sea currents and finally brought to india but others they believe that the northern end of andes as the place of origin of this coconut palm tree where it was dispersed by the prehistoric explorers into the pacific and 
according to yet another view, its place of origin is somewhere else. Okay, it's somewhere in Southeast Asia from where it reached accidentally to the coast of America. So you can see uh, there are some controversies regarding its native home. But this plant is now widely grown in the coastal and deltaic regions of the tropical and subtropical countries, uh, mainly these countries, okay, Philippines, Indonesia, India, Mexico, Papua, New Guinea, West Malaya, Malaya and Sri Lanka. And in India, it is mainly co cultivated in these areas, but it is also grown in Goa, Daman and Dew, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Orissa, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Lakshadweep, Pondicherry, Assam and Tripura. So these are uh, some uh, countries and states where these and states in India where uh, this coconut palm is mainly cultivated. Now coming to its important uses. So like I said, here we are not going to talk about the whole coconut plant because whole coconut plant, like I said, all, all its parts, it is very useful, right? From the leaves to the fruits to the stems. Okay, every... Every part of this plant is useful, but here we are going to talk only about the uh, this part. Here, this part that is the choir. So let us talk about the. Let us take a look at the uh, some of the uses of choir. Now, choir fiber. This choir fiber it has a natural. Uh, resilience okay natural toughness durability and also resistance to water and therefore it is uh, very useful in making cordages and extensively used in uh, manufacture of mats then matting and coarse cloth okay matting the the coarse material woven from this uh, choir fiber and also coarse cloth which is rough in texture and also it, you can see it is used as a packing material to protect the goods in the uh, against shock during transport and uh, it is used in the manufacturing of this activated carbon okay you can see the, this choir it can be burned to form coal and then treated with uh, chemicals to form this activated charcoal so the activated carbon it is prepared okay it is that type of carbon which is prepared in order to increase its absorptive power right so that is why it is known as activated carbon because it has been treating it has been activated in order to increase its absorptive power and also it is used in artificial horse hair then it is also used in paper pulp then roofing tiles writing boards and also thermal insulation thermal insulation to reduce the heat transfer between the objects and between the objects in thermal com contact and also use for making high stretch papers then uh, these high stretch papers then olive oil filter papers okay these are the filter papers for olive oil and also the choir it is rubberized for making cushion seats cushion seating for automobiles and also in railways and the these choir bags the bags okay making out of this coconut choir they are used in tea estates for collecting and also for transportation of tea leaves so Collecting and transportation of tea leaves are used in these bags, okay, made from this uh, choir, 
coconut guaya and also for making these uh, box for lifting the coal from the mines the, these type of box also are prepared from the coconut coir and the yarn here the, the coir yarn is used for making these fenders okay they are making uh, this uh, yarn or a thread which is made up of from the uh, coir it is used for making fenders that is a piece of rope or you can see here matting which is hung over a ship a ship side to protect it against impact okay which are attached to the ships and boats for preventing a uh, collision and shock and as you can see here the bristol fibers they are used for making uh, brushes brooms uh, mattress fibers for mattresses here you can see the choir all right for making mattresses and also it is used as a substitute for uh, horse hair upholstery here upholstery that if you remember it is uh, that soft padded covering okay that is uh, fixed to furniture Okay, such as the armchairs, the sofas, and the unspun fibers. Okay, the fibers which are not spun, the unspun fibers they are used for caulking boats. Okay, for sealing the gaps in the boats. You can see they use cotton, and also here in this figure, all right, the, for sealing these gaps in the boats, they use either cotton or these uh, unspun fibers they used to seal these gaps known as caulking and the waste from this choir okay the waste material the waste product from the choir it is used in the uh, manufacture of the uh, corolite now corolite it is made from the it is a mixture of perlite and cocoa peat okay, for improving the texture of the and better drainage okay, for improving the soil texture and better drainage and also soil erosion and it is uh, mix the cocoa peat here it is mixed with perlite and this perlite it is an amorphous volcanic glass which is relatively high water content has a high uh, water content and also which is used in soil mixes okay so this type of product that is coralite it is manufactured by mixing cocoa peat with perlite all right this uh, waste choir waste it is used for making coralite by incorporating with resins and other ingredients and it is a tough material for it is a tough and also a hard material and possess a good strength and electrical resistance and that coralite it can be molded in any shape and the hard boards made from this choir dust okay the the choir waste or the choir dust are used to make these hard boats and these hard boats they are durable smooth insect proof fire retarding and also they are water repellent so these are the important uses of the choir fiber plant